Many students think they know this, but they actually don't. To rearrange the formula to make k the subtract, there are three steps to do it. So step one is to just look at the operations around k. I'm gonna highlight that in red here. The closest thing to it, based on the order of operations, is going to be k squared. Alright, so k to the power of 2. The next thing after that would be the multiplication here by 5. 5k squared subtracts 7. We need to realize that negative 7 here is way on the outside, and that's what we need to tackle first. We call this working from the outside to the inside. Step 2 is to just do the inverse operation. The reverse of negative 7 is just to add 7. So we're gonna add 7 on this side of the equation here. Now, because it's an equation, we have to plus 7 on both sides. Then we will get capital P plus 7 is equal to 5k squared, and then because you added 7, 7 minus 7 gives you 0, so the negative 7 is no longer present there. Step 3 is to just repeat the process again. k squared is the closest operation, and the multiplication of 5 is what we need to tackle next. So we will divide 5 in this case, that's the opposite of multiplying 5. When we do it on both sides, you see p plus 7 over 5, equals to k squared. In this case, we have k squared, and the opposite of squaring is taking the square root. So we just have to take the plus minus square root of both sides. The square and the square root cancel each other out. So what you see is k equals to plus minus square root p plus 7 over 5 inside. Follow me for more tips just like this.